So the sixth pin is the in uh, analog input, which is connected to the potentiometer. And uh, what is there is the potentiometer. We can go to the website and then I can show you. We do that. ALS Electro. Here, go to the development kit. Here, 8051. Go into this. So this is the ADC, okay. This is the analog to digital converter. This is the potentiometer what I was talking about. So which potentiometer is this? This potentiometer, one kilo ohms. One kilo ohms potentiometer is this. This is the 20 pin ADC. This is D naught to D7, you can see D naught, D1, D2, D3. You can able to see D naught, D1, D2, D3, D8. So the eight analog to digital converted eight output will be coming out through this. Through some 8 pin cable, we can take it to the LED and then we can check whether it is converting or not. And this D0 to D7 is taken into port 1 or port 2 or port 3 into the processor, and we can do the S3 code conversion and we can use the multiplexer 7 segment display to display the corresponding room temperature or the corresponding voltage in the potentiometer. And uh, we can do a number of things as per the requirement. So the left hand side, you can see read pin, write pin, IMTR pin, and V reference pin. So there are four pins. The left hand side you can see one two three four so this connector 13 is brk connector three where there are four pins those four pins are read pin write pin intr pin and v reference pin why read pin by making this a zero we can take out d0 to d7 data why write pin to give start of conversion why intr to find out the conversion is over or not why v reference to uh, fix the analog input, maximum analog input of the sensor through V reference. If my, if I have connected instead of potentiometer, if I have connected LM35 temperature sensor, means I have to connect a 250 millivolt as my analog input to V reference by 2. Then only for 500 millivolt analog input, ADC will produce digital maximum. One end of the potentiometer is connected to 5 volts, another end of the potentiometer is connected to ground. So when we adjust the knob means the voltage will vary from 0 to 5 voltage. So no need to connect any anything to V reference. So default it is fixed for 0 to 5 voltage. So analog input, digital output, start of conversion, end of conversion, adjusting the V reference is very clearly available in this. So this is the ADC circuit diagram inside this. This is the four connector. This is this four pin uh, connector here. And uh, this eight connector 10, which is connector 10. You can see this is connector 10, we have digital outputs. This is connector 13, where you are having read, write, and INTR and V reference, as you see here. So connector 13 and connector 10. So we need to look at the data sheet first. Then we have to look at the circuit schematic of the board, user manual, because the board was from uh, ALS Electro. So we are able to check the circuit schematic shared by this company. Start. So in this experiment, we are going to understand how the ADC0804 converts the analog input to digital output and the analog to digital converter value is displayed in the multiplexed 7 segment display. So if you see the multimeter output, the analog input given is 0 voltage. So for the analog input 0 voltage, ADC is converting that 0 voltage into digital and uh, digital equivalent 0 is getting displayed in the multiplexed 7 segment display as we see here. So when we change that uh, analog input from 0 voltage to 5 volts, which is the maximum, if you see the multimeter is the reference for us to check whether the analog input is given. So the analog input given to the 6th pin of the ADC is 5 voltage, as you see here. And when I give the start of conversion, the analog to digital converter value is 255. Because 255 is the maximum 8-bit value, which is represented in decimal number which is 11111111 in binary, which is FF in hexadecimal. So for the maximum analog input, this ADC0804 is producing maximum digital output. As you see here, 5 volt is the analog input, and for the analog input 5 voltage, ADC is producing 255 in the multiplexer 7 segment display. Once again, I am reducing the voltage from 5 voltage to 0 voltage, as you see here. So 0 voltage is the analog input given to the 6th pin of this ADC. And when I give the start of conversion, we are expecting 0 in the multiplexed 7 segment display. So we are getting 0. So now I am giving the in-between value. So somewhere I am 
my analog input voltage is 3 volts now analog input voltage is 3 voltage so when i give start of conversion so for 3 voltage so the analog to digital converted value is 89 similarly when i change the voltage analog input voltage to say for example 1.57 so for 1.57 analog input voltage 74 74 when i give the analog input voltages close to 4 volts say for example when my analog input voltage is 4 voltage means I'm trying to keep 4 voltages analog input and the digital output is 179 so for the 4 voltage analog input analog to digital converted output is 179 and similarly when i keep the maximum which is 5 so we are getting 255 when I giving the minimum 0 which I am getting 0 so through this experiment we are able to justify the analog to digital converter is converting the given analog input into its digital equivalent that digital output is taken out and then given to the 8051 microcontrollers port 3 input so the data 8 bit data which is analog to digital converter data from the ADC is taken as an input to port 3 and by doing the necessary code conversion from binary to BCD and BCD to 7 segment through port 0, analog to digital converter output is getting displayed in the multiplexer 7 segment display. So through this experiment, we are able to understand how ADC0804 is working and how microcontroller is getting that value and with the necessary code conversion, how it is displaying the corresponding value in the multiplexer 7 segment display is also understood clearly. Thank you.